In this video, we'll be learning about Solana. Solana is an interesting piece of tech built by Anatoly Yakovenko. It is a fast and secure blockchain network that uses a combination of proof of stake and proof of history, which I will tell you in a minute. But why is Solana getting popular and why is it termed Ethereum killer? Will it kill Ethereum or will it coexist with Ethereum? To get answers to our question, we need to first understand exactly what is Solana and how it works. Solana is a blockchain network focusing mainly on scaling to help developers make better and faster dApps. It supports up to 65,000 TPS, which is a lot higher than Ethereum's 20 TPS. What enables Solana's this skyrocketing speed? Solana uses proof of stake, which helps in securing the network, and proof of history, which helps in ordering transactions. Because of this, all the nodes are synchronized, which helps to increase efficiency and security. But how does proof of stake and proof of history help Solana to be web scale ready? Proof of stake means taking some soul to become a validator to validate transactions. But why do we need to stake soul to become part of the network? Like we can just run a node for free on Ethereum or Bitcoin. But why is it different on Solana? Ethereum and Bitcoin uses a proof of work. In this you are in the race to who solves complex hashes first. Many nodes working to validate one transaction. This uses a lot of electric energy, which is not good for our environment. But in Solana, you need to stake some soul to become a validator. So there is no race in Solana. A transaction is given to a randomly chosen node based on how many souls they have staked. The chosen node validates the block and is rewarded with some soul for good work. As they have staked soul, their actual money is in the network. So now, will not try and bring the value of soul down by doing something wrong. Even if that block becomes evil and tries to validate malicious transaction, the soul will be confiscated and transaction will be reported. There is no way of knowing time in the decentralized system. So public blockchains were either not using time or were having bad assumptions about it. To solve this, we use POH, proof of history, is a sequence of computations that can provide a way to cryptographic verify the passage of time between events. Proof of history is much like sand clock, where we use sand to measure time and here we use cryptographic hashes to measure time. It works like this. We generate a hash for a random string and use it as starting point. Take the generated hash and generate another hash using it. Record the number of times the function has been called the output of the string. The time taken from hash 0 to hash n will be same if system is using the same configuration and same hashing algorithm. How does Solana work? So in a nutshell, if nodes aren't synchronized, it will take a longer time to add a block and TPS will be slow. Here's how it works. A node is selected as a leader who generates the POS sequence for others to verify. It returns signature of hash of the last state and the transaction. Then a validator node executes the same transaction on their machines and returns the computer signatures as vote to consensus algorithm. If these votes exceed a two-third of number of validators, then those transactions are verified and added to the block. The node is preferred based on the amount of souls staked. So higher the amount, the higher the amount of transactions to verify. Now we will learn about some important tech that Solana has built on. First, we have proof of history. We have discussed earlier, but in a nutshell, it's a clock before consensus. Tower BFT, a POH optimized version of PBFT, Practical Byzantine Fall Tolerance. It is a consensus mechanism that takes advantage of cryptographic clock and reaches consensus without having to go through messages among nodes and that increases TPS. Next is Turbine, a block propagation protocol. Turbine helps to break down data and makes sharing data between nodes easier and saves more bandwidth and increases the transaction processing speed of the network. Goldstream a mempool less transaction forwarding protocol. Mempool means a set of unconfirmed transactions. It helps Solana to cache transactions ahead of time and push them over to the edge of network. Validators now can validate transactions ahead of time and reduce confirmation time and memory requirement. 
by validators from unconfirmed transaction pools. Next is C-Level, a parallel smart contract runtime. C-Level allows running concurrent smart contract on single chain, increasing the efficiency of the network. Pipelining, a transaction processing unit for validation optimization. It assigns a streamed input data to different hardware for processing, and it increases speed of replication of transactions and validates faster across the network. Then is CloudBreak, a horizontally scaled account database. So it is a database that stores account, making concurrent reads and writes between the threads of network possible. Last but not least, Archivers. It is a distributed ledger store. Validators offload data onto a network of nodes known as archivers. They can be a basic laptop or a PC that network uses for the store of data. So